Hey everyone, this is Kristen. Welcome back to the Lux channel. I am here standing in our 38 GLX. It has been quite a while since we've done one of these videos, so I wanted to take you through my customer's coach and just show you a little bit of the different layout between this one and that 38 GFB. This one is going to be one bathroom, just so that you are aware. It's going to be 39.9 in length, and it has a gross vehicle weight of 21,000. I have a lot of people who are asking me those type of questions for the models, so I'm going to start trying to let you know a little bit about the weights as well. Um, it has around a uh, hitch pin weight of around 3,500 is what it's estimated at. We're standing here at the Elegant Closet. It's a walk-in style closet. They have opted to do the washer and dryer here on opposite sides. You could do the dressers instead if you wish. And then you have the hanging bar storage all the way across. And then the nice shoe rack as well. They have also opted to do the marine grade carpet instead of carpet. This is what they use in yachts. It's very easy to clean something off of this if you were to spill it, and it's very animal friendly as well. They have done the beachfront cabinetry, as you can see, with the raised style panels. You can also do shaker if you want more of that modern day look. Into the entertainment center here, you can see quite a bit of storage. You got the egress window, you have your um, smart TV. All of our TVs are gonna be the LG 4K smart TVs. And throughout the coach, you will see the frosted panels. If you don't like those, you can do the solid panel inserts in those as well. King size bed is standard and there is storage underneath the bed. If you would like to close off that center nook there, you can do so so that you have more storage. You have those 12 volt reading lights and then you have some pretty nice sized end tables. If you were to do a queen size bed, you would get larger nightstands there. And you can always opt to do the solid surface if you'd like, so you can set drinks down at night. You can do the wireless charging port as well. With this layout here, I find that it would be quite easy to make the bed with this one. I'm gonna back up here into the hallway here. You got a very nice size storage. And you can do a hanging bar in there. You could do adjustable shelves. You could, you could easily do anything with this space right here. Just talk to your representative about that one. So what's nice about this floor plan is the hallway. So it really does make it feel more like a home. Right here, you have your bathroom. You're gonna have a nice size vanity here. They've done the Brazilian in here instead of the beachfront. All of your water shutoffs will be at the point of where the water is at. All of our coaches are built for serviceability. Nice, deep medicine cabinet. And then they have stuck with the standard one piece seamless fiberglass shower with the molded bump outs. Coming back along here, going into our hallway, they have another storage cabinet. This could easily be um, your broom cabinet or hang some um, hooks up here so you can hang your coats when you come in the door. And then coming down the stairs, you have this nice cabinet right here. So plenty of storage again along the sides. Good spot for coats. You got a area where you can stop and take your shoes off. But while we're right here in this area, I want to point out the in-command system. It's very easy to work. You can do your interior lights, your generator, your slides, everything from this right here or from the touch pads that are located in all the different um, areas of your coach or by your phone. This coach also has a solar package involved. So this is just gonna show you the Victron uh, energy to show you what loads are going out and what is coming in. So that is very helpful. So that's what you get if you did this uh, solar package. Coming into the living area and kitchen, you got a nice open area, plenty of attic storage. This customer has done a few things to make it more of like the elite style by adding the pendant lights, the ceiling fan, and the touch pads on the wall that you see for the lighting. We have stuck with the standard wallboard here. That is what you will have in the gold models. You can choose to upgrade to these soft touch walls if you would like. Day and night shades are standard. I'm not gonna pull these down just because I can see that he does have um, the option he opted for the powered nightshades. Over here, we have done the Brazilian buffet style table. It does pull out so that you can put an additional leaf in there so it can sit four. 
And then over here we have the Lambright theater seating that they've opted to upgrade to. This is gonna be an extruded polyurethane. It is a very soft material. It goes through about 14 years of hydrolysis testing before it shows any type of wear. So much storage in this coach. I absolutely love the lighting behind here. You can see the personal touches. They added the, the sofa end tables. You can do that if you wish. And then you do have the hide a bed sofa at the end here. Over here, you have the 5000 BTU fireplace. It does put out some pretty good heat. And then we have the standard 43 inch TV with the storage behind. If you wanted to do the Televator, you could do it in this model. However, you are going to lose your overheads here just so that you were aware. He has also opted to do the split pantry to give a little bit more counter space next to that oven. And so in doing so, um, you're going to have this pantry down here below with the pull out drawers. This does have the dovetail, soft close, hinges are on the bottom for added structure. You're not going to have any OSB or particle board in any of our coaches. And they've opted to do the 30 inch residential oven. Standard is going to be an induction cooktop. I get a lot of questions about electric coaches. Can I have a full electric coach? So you can get pretty close. Our furnace does run off of propane. So that is one of the options that we can't switch out. If you're not in a place where you need your furnace, you don't have to. You can use your heat pumps that are on your ACs, which they're 15K ACs on board with the heat pumps. And then you do have your fireplace. So other than that, you can really run everything else off of electric. Um, the only other thing would be the Truma on-demand hot water heater. If you did add that option, that would be propane as well. But we could do an induction cooktop, electric cooktops, electric oven, things like that. 30 inch convection microwave above. All of our microwaves are vented outside. And then over here, we have a nice size island. You can add a flip up countertop if you would like. So you have the extended countertop for your workspace. They've added the dishwasher. If you don't want that, it would be dishwasher prepped and then you just have an additional cabinet. Silverware drawer tray was placed in here. And then you have the countertops underneath below for storage. You could do a tilt out sponge tray here if you'd like. And then as you can see my cell phone here is charging on our wireless charging port. The double bowl composite sink was opted here. This comes in multiple different colors. You can do it in single. Standard is gonna be your double bowl stainless sink. Large LG fridge here. You can do ice and water in the door, or if you do, don't do the ice and water in the door, it's gonna be, your ice maker is just gonna be in your freezer here. Really nice hutch here. So you can really personalize this space to fit what you need, but tons of storage. Gives it a really nice, elegant look too. All of our walls are three inches thick. They are gonna be a closed graphite infused black foam insulation. They're gonna be on Asdell, not Luon, so you're not gonna have any of that delamination. So I am gonna take you outside here real quick and show you the exterior and show you some of those features. Coming to the exterior of that 38 GLS, you can see that they've added the Tsunami paint scheme on here. It is all automotive paint. It's gonna be wet sand cut and buff. You can choose any automotive colors so you can match your truck or anything if you'd like. They've also upgraded the hitch pin. The standard is going to be the more ride hitch. They've upgraded to the Gen Y hitch. They do say that this one here is going to save uh, wear on your tires, save fuel cost, and it does cut down on some of that jerk, that jerking back and forth motion. I really wanted to come into the compartment bay here because this gentleman did add the large solar panel package on here. So you can see that he's got the two inverters and then you got the solar charge controller, multiple lithium batteries. So I just wanted you to be able to see this since we do have those new solar packages out. So if you're going online and doing a build, this would be package A. And then you can see that they did add the generator as well. So you can do no generator, generator prep, or have that generator installed. Also, all of our caps right here, they do have a coating on it. It's a rock guard. So if you are traveling down the road and those rocks hit it, it does have a chip guard on there, just so that you're aware. All of our slides, when they are inside, um, they're not out. It is a flush mounted slide. So therefore it's gonna be a nice sleek look when going down the road. 
all of our dryers, and again, microwaves are gonna be vented outside. You're gonna have a triple bulb seal on all of your slide room, so it's gonna give it a nice solid seal. Equalizer leveling system is gonna be right here. You have an auto leveling, so just a push of a button, or you can use your smartphone to operate that as well. So you're gonna have six pads. They're gonna be much beefier than what you're used to. You're gonna have 12 inch uh, circle ones on the front, and then the rest of the remaining four are gonna be the 10 inch octagons. Two 40 pound propane tanks, one on either side. And then over here in our large pass-through storage, you can see that they've opted for the more ride tray slide. So this comes out about 60% of the way, and then you can also take it from the other side as well. Coming into our servicing compartments, you can see they added the Arctic package because those PEX lines are insulated. Look at all those ducts back there. That's for your, your heat run, so they're all individually ran. And they've also added that three-stage water filtration system in here. So it's very easy to get to when you need to change those filters. Coming over here into our wet bay, you have your outdoor shower, your external solar and satellite hookups, all of your tank flushes and everything is right here for you. You can see that none of the screws are showing alongside of our coaches. Our belt rail covers that up. So it's gonna keep them um, so they're not exposed to the elements. It also gives it a nice clean look. With the Arctic package, your furnaces are uh, beefed up. So it's gonna be two 30,000 BTU furnaces instead of two 20,000s. Over here, when we're talking about paint, you can see that they added the accents. This is called the slide room paint where the accents continue along the slide end rooms. If you were not to do this, you would have one of your main colors as that whole slide there. All metal fender skirting, no plastic at all. Here is your access to the back of your fridge. So if you need winterization or any type of servicing, you can do so. He added the power cord reel. This is a 30 foot cord. And stepping back here real quick, you can see that he added the window silk. So this is gonna keep out about 50% of the UV rays from coming inside of your coach. Looks a little bit more private when people are walking by. When you're looking out, you can still see just fine. He's also added the slide room toppers as well. Some people ask me, you know, do, do most people get those? It's about a 50, 50% 50 people who get them. If you are gonna be in those windier climates, just keep in mind that they do have a little bit of noise when they are flapping. One piece front and end caps. You can see that they added on the two inch hitch receiver. This has a 300 pound tongue weight. Ladder for your full walk on roof. More storage compartments for you. And if you'll just take a quick peek in here, you can see the uh, spare tire carrier there. And then also right here, you have the LP quick disconnect. So if you do have a grill you wanna hook up or if you have a fireplace or whatnot. Also, all of our slides are gonna be electric slides. Unless you have a vanity slide, then it's gonna be a Norco cable slide. But when you have the electric slide, if something was to go wrong, you can still manually crank it in and get to where you're going versus a hydraulic slide. They have added the second awning here. Standard is just gonna be this one awning that goes across the front here to the door. And they've also added the solid step above entry stairs. So you're gonna get this extended grab bar handle here. And then this step right here is gonna be a step and a half, goes all the way down to the bottom. And then you can adjust it. So if you are on that rougher terrain, it gives you a nice um, solid feel. And then I'm sorry, I didn't touch base on the tires here. They are 17 and a half inch H rated tires. You're gonna have all Kodiak hydraulic disc brakes. All independent suspension is standard. Standard suspension is Dexter independent suspension, or you can upgrade to that more right independent suspension or to the Kelderman air suspension. Thank you guys for walking around this coach with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to give, our, give us a call.